Welcome back to Bespoke Addict. Um, this is another pair. Um, I've got about a hundred pairs put, put aside and prepared for sale. And this is another pair that I've listed at no reserve on eBay. Just glorious things. Um, they're actually, um, they're alligator skin. They're from about 1960. Um, US made actually. Um, up until the 1960s, the US had so many makers of, you know, real artisan quality. And um, certainly the best US makers are as good as any of the sort of European high-end makers. They're not bespoke. They're not sort of, they don't have the bespoke sort of unique elements, but they're all made to order and they're hand-lasted, hand-welted, beautiful, beautiful things. These were made by Footjoy and they've got a slight spade sole. If they were earlier, these are 1960s, but they're made to look like a 1930s shoe. A 1930s shoe would have had a spade pointing out here and here, both sides. It would have been quite aggressive. But that sort of went out of fashion. But people wanted it reintroducing um, in the 60s, really. And these are 1960s, even though the skins look almost new. There's no cracking. There's no, no, no sort of lifting of the scales. And they're just amazing things. Let's just pop the, uh, the tree out. Oof. Just uh, let's see if the camera can. It's quite dark, so the camera might not be able to pick that up inside. But there's not really any real evidence that there's been worn. You know, there's a, you know, the soles are all original. There's the original heel. It's lost a little bit of the rubber on the corner there, but goodness, you know, there's a few sort of marks and scratches. But to be honest, they could be polished out and made completely smooth and make them look unworn. It's just you know, for something that was made about 1960. These are just truly a remarkable survivor. And there are, let me see now, there are US 10 and a half D, which is a UK nine and a half D. Um, amazing things, really. That's the other one, exactly the same condition, just, um, just in perfect condition. And uh, I've had these quite a long time, 10 years or so. I've worn them very occasionally, but... I've just got so many other similar pairs, alligator, crocodile, etc. That I'm, I, I, it sounds it sounds awful, but I'm really sort of spoiled for choice. It's um, yeah, they just don't get the sort of where they deserve. They do actually still have. Let me just see if I can find a little. I've just noticed this. I've never noticed it before. Get some little tweezers. These spoke shoes and made to order shoes. You quite often see this because when they when they because they're they're handmade and to stop any marks and prints and scratches going on the skin they covered the whole thing with a plastic like a like a it's like a clear cling film almost and um and then they're, they're well because obviously when they're welted and you're pulling and it it, it, it it there's a good chance because it's all been done by hand there's a good chance of catching the skins with the needles and what they do they cover it in a polythene i can just see I don't know if the camera can get it, but I'm going to leave it there. It's a little bit of polythene still here that goes under the welt. And what they do, when, when the shoe's completely finished, there's no chance of damaging it, they take a little knife and they cut all the way around and peel the polythene off. But most bespoke makers do that, and clearly some American made-to-order makers do it because there's still a little bit here. I'm going to leave it. That could easily be picked out. But I, I kind of, I've never noticed it before, so it's never caused any trouble. There's a tiny, tiny little bit just down here. Yeah, it just it just shows the handmade nature of them. Handmade shoes, I suppose shoes have the have the plastic coverings, whilst they're being manufactured and handled in the workshops. So these are eBay UK. Um, if, you, if, if if people have been searching my listings, just eBay, which defaults to eBay.com, which is US, and then complaining, I can't, I can't, you know, I can't find them, can't find them. But if you search eBay UK, that's where these are. And I don't think anybody would be disappointed. These are just amazing. Totally amazing. Very, very wearable. They're a wearable size. That's the thing with vintage shoes. They tend to be rather narrow and low. But these are these are sort of to today's standards. People have slightly wider feet today than they did even 60 years ago. But when you go back to the 20s and 30s, you know, they're generally really skinny. They're just not wearable by modern standards people's feet generally are much 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 wider they're not so much longer today but so much wider and taller that is the problem with vintage but 
these look stylistically 1930s, 40s, but they're not the 1960s, but extraordinarily well looked after. But because the skins are so supple, they're wearable. There's no evidence of cracking. Of course, they would need ongoing maintenance. Um, and there's plenty of videos on my Instagram and YouTube channel of how to maintain exotic skins. But, you know, it's taken a long time to decide to sell these because they're so amazing. And um, they're pretty much a one-off find, really, in this condition. I do have another pair, pretty much identical in black. The, the toe slightly flatter. It's not quite so pronounced. They're black. But the, the condition isn't quite so good. There is some cracking on the edges here. Um, nothing horrendous that you know, but they're not in this condition. They're, they they look the same, but the condition of these is better. Uh, and I suspect when I eventually get those out, whoever ends up buying these will want the black ones as well because they're the same size. Um, but anyway, I don't know where they are at the moment. I've simply got so many shoes, I can't find anything. So I'm kind of, you know, I'm just sort of finding things one at a time, and whatever comes to the top of the pile, I'm pulling them out randomly, preparing them, moisturizing them, and listing them it, it's very difficult to sort of spread everything out and see what i've got and there's simply too much for that anyway stop gossiping these are listed no reserve ebay uk made by foot joy genuine alligator skin in simply quite frankly it's museum museum exhibit condition i'll be sorry to see those go but they deserve a better home than they've got with me they just do not get warm with me i've got i'm afraid too much choice Thank mm -hmm. you.